What's going on everyone? So today we're going to be comparing both lenses, 85mm from Sony and the 105 from Sigma. So we have shot with these lenses at the studio and also the outdoor, so if you want to see images and the uh, shooting at the studio, click on the card right above. And right now, today we're going to be comparing actually the images from the outdoors with both lenses, the 85mm and the Sigma 105, both lenses 1.4. Now, right here in Lightroom, you guys are going to realize that I have images marked with one star, that stands for the 85, and images with five stars stand for the 105 millimeter from Sigma. So, let's begin with the first image. Uh, we're going to glance uh, through the entire 85 uh, millimeter uh, image. As you guys can see, we see some fringing around the hair. And again, we're shooting wide open, 1.4. I mean, most lenses are going to have some sort of fringing. But one of the things that... Um, I want to point out is that the 105 millimeter shows way less and this is an example right here so this is again we're on the 85 millimeter check this image and you can clearly see uh, some green and some magenta around the hair now on the 105 it's actually less um, it is also a little bit more blurry but you see less of that green so that's one thing at a glance that when you have a lit situation behind your subject, you're going to notice a little bit more of chromatic aberrations on the 85 from Sony than on the 105 from Sigma. Uh, now, let's see uh, eye autofocus capability um, here on the, one, on the 85 millimeters. Uh, settings are ISO 64, and we are, again, wide open 1.4, 1 2,000th of the second. I mean, the image is pretty, uh, pretty sharp here. Uh, detail on the skin is right on point and moving to the uh, 105 from Sigma also we can see that you know both images are very very sharp now one thing that I try to do with this review I try to keep the same images at the same plane now notice that when shooting with the 85 millimeter I'm further away from this object than when shooting with the 105 um, so let's move on with the next image just see what we see right here so again on this one we have the sky behind and uh, and this image is a little bit less noticeable, but if we zoom in a little bit more, we're gonna see some of the uh, purple fringing. Not too bad on the 85 millimeter. Now this one, uh, on the 105, it's a completely different image, but um, we can see that the lens still rendering the eye very, very sharp, whereas the 85 millimeter also renders the eye very, very sharp. Now, it seems that when comparing this lens, the 85, with a 105, I happen to see more sharpness on the eye than I see on the 85 millimeter. All right, now moving forward with this image, uh, this one shot with the 85 millimeter, this one shot with uh, the 105 Sigma. At a glance, you can see that one image is brighter than the other, but there are some settings that have been tweaked. The ISO on this image is 64, ISO on this image is 125. Also, the shutter speed are different on both images. Now. Let's analyze this image with, uh, without um, backlit situation. Uh, the lens is performing, again, really sharp across the face. Uh, you start losing the sharpness around the sideburns right here. Again, eyebrows are on point, the lips are on point. It seems like the lens uh, is actually uh, rendering in this picture a little bit more the lip than the eye. Now, comparing with the 105 millimeter, with the 85, it seems that everything seems to be on the same plane, kind of like eyes and lip, whereas here on this image, the lips uh, seem to be a little bit sharper than the eye. Again, 85 millimeter here, 105 on this side. Let's move forward with another image. Again, let's see right here the sharpness. Uh, obviously, we're focused more on this area. The ears uh, seem to be a little bit blurrier. And comparing to the 105, I mean, the 105 seems to be sharper in most situations. Also, again, like I mentioned before, it's a little bit sharper across uh, the image than the 85 millimeter. Again, we're shooting like fully wide open, 1.4 and 1.4. And you can see the difference in shutter speed and ISO on both lenses. Let's move to this image right here. This one, again, uh, shot with the 85 millimeter. It shows a little bit of fringing around the hair. You can see a little bit of the purples and the magenta. This one, again, it's less than on the 85 millimeter. Uh, even though it's less brighter the background than on the other image. Again, we have another image right here. And again, uh, the chromatic aberration seems to be repeating uh, in all situations with the 85 millimeter and, 
and less with the 105. All right, now let's analyze the eye out of focus. So from now on, we're just gonna concentrate on analyzing the image just around the eye. And again, like I mentioned before, I use eye out of focus for all images. So this one is with the 85 millimeter. Um, we can see the sharpness on the eye. It's not that sharp actually. Uh, whereas on the one of five from Sigma is way, way sharper. Now, I'm gonna do a side by side so you guys can see the comparison. And you can clearly see here that one lens is a little bit sharper around the eye than the other one. And at least outdoor in most situations, the one of five performed the best. Let's do exactly the same thing with another image. One image is a little bit brighter than the other one. This one more contrasty, the light is located on um, on the uh, le left hand side and this one is actually more towards the front that's also going to have something to do with the way the eye is going to be rendered but let's check this image and let's zoom in on this one now in this one again the one of five seems to be a little bit brighter and you can actually tell by the reflection of the light uh, all the detail of the skin seems to be a little bit sharper on the one of five even though this image uh, it's a little bit darker than this one. So this one brighter, uh, again, both lenses are doing about the same, but on the one of five, you can clearly tell that the eyes is way sharper. Now let's move forward with another image a little more further away than those. Both of these images, I try to like select images that are about the same plane. Um, again, on the 85, I'm a little bit further away than the one of five, but let's see how this one performed. This is the eye right here and the one of five. In this image, there is not a winner. Uh, probably the skin detail on the 85 is a little bit better than the one of five. Uh, let's try the same with another image. This one is one of five, and this one is the 85 millimeters. And here again, the one of five is rendering the image a little bit better than the 85 millimeter, especially around the lip. Uh, the uh, in the eye and the nose, you know, all the details like I mentioned before the 85 seems to actually because of the huge lens Huge glass it seems to render uh, more detail across the side of the image Let me see if I have another image here now right over here I'm probably about the same distance with both lenses. That's why you know the head looks a little bit smaller than here Let's compare again eye out of focus. This one is completely out of focus of the eye and once again, the Sigma uh, clear winner here, which one performed the best. And again, I haven't used any criteria to select the images. I basically randomly picked the images and I realized that every image on the 105, I'm getting like crisper results than on the 85 millimeter. Now on this image, uh, you can see that the distance is about the same. On the 85 millimeters, I am a little bit further away than the 105. Now, this image rendering the details of the face and eye very, very well. And again, the Sigma seems to be doing a little bit better, but remember, I'm actually closer with the Sigma on this image. Now, let's compare how these lenses render the skin. On the left-hand side, I have the 85 millimeter, and on the right-hand side, I have the 105. Now, notice again that the, uh, the image on the 105 is a little bit darker, settings are a little bit different, as you guys can see. Oh, just a tiny bit difference. Uh, on this one, we have an ISO of 64. Uh, we're shooting wide open, and the, the shutter is 1 2,000th of a second. Uh, whereas uh, on the 105, we are 64 ISO and 1 1,000th of a second. Now, again, let's compare both images. So both lenses are rendering the detail of the skin very, very well. The pores are very, very clear on both images. It is a tad sharper on the 105, but both images are rendering the details uh, very, very well. Now let's make another comparison right here where the subject is a little bit more further away. This is the 85 millimeters, and this is the skin on the 105. It seems that it's about the same on both lenses. Let's do a side by side. They look the same. Obviously the one on the 105, I'm actually closer uh, to this object than on the one uh, for the 85 millimeters. So image quality now, it was actually, uh, we were losing daylight in this, uh, in this part of the shoot. And uh, again, there is over here a clear winner. Um, overall, the, the one of five millimeter is rendering one more time the details of the face a little bit better. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. 
and see the pores. Uh, I'm losing pores here, where here, you know, you can still see the pores uh, with no problem. We have a landscape image right here. Both images are about the same, meaning that I'm closer with the 105. Let's just see the detail of the hand. Uh, the hand seems to be a little bit sharper on the 105 and less sharp on the 85 millimeter. Now let's go and check out the face of both. And in this situation, I believe both lenses are performing about the same. Yeah, over, over here, you know, both images look exactly uh, the same around the face. So now let's compare how these lenses are rendering skin colors. Keep in mind that I have the camera set up with automatic white balance, so the camera is deciding the best setting for white balance. Uh, but again, j let's just give it a look. Uh, this one is the, uh, let's start with the 105. One of five millimeter. One thing that I can tell at a glance is that on the on the 85 millimeter, in most situations, we seem to have a warmer uh, skin color. Uh, that is probably something that will change if you shoot with a set white balance rather than letting the camera decide which one is best. Again, same situation here on the 85 millimeter which seems to have a, a little bit of a warmer tone and on the 105 a little bit of a colder tone. And once again, um, 85 millimeter on the left and 105 on the right. And again, consistently the 85 millimeter seems to render skin tones a little bit warmer. Now let's talk about overall image quality. So both lenses are gonna give you amazing bokeh quality. Obviously the 105 is gonna be blurrier than on the 85 millimeters. Here we have another situation. Um, image quality, both lenses are rendering the image really nicely. Uh, again, you know, you can tell that there is more uh, blurriness happening in the background due to the focal length. Uh, in this image, I believe that both are 1.4. So if you're looking for a lens that is going to give you the most image separation, the 105 is gonna be the lens. So which lens do I like the most? The 85 millimeter definitely is an all-rounder lens. It's a lens that you can use at the studio. It's a lens that you can use in the outdoors. You're gonna perform amazing uh, results with both uh, with both lenses, but the 85 is gonna be one that's gonna be most suitable for um, smaller studios or smaller environment. With the 105, you definitely have to step away a little bit more from your subject. So if you're working on a very tiny studio, probably 105 is not gonna be the portrait lens of choice. So keep that in mind. The 85 millimeter, it's lighter. It's more expensive, it's lower at focusing, okay? That's another thing that I notice uh, when shooting with, with this lens. Now, the 105 is less expensive, it's a lot heavier than the 85 millimeter, although the 85 is actually a heavy lens already. But the 105 millimeter uh, from Sigma is a lens that is similar in weight to the 70 to 200 from Sony. So, if you're familiar with a lens, this one is gonna be about the same, it's actually a little bit heavier. In terms of image quality, both lenses render amazing image quality. In this case, for the outdoor, the 105 outperformed the 85 millimeter when it came to eye autofocus. The 85 millimeter renders more chromatic aberrations than the 105 millimeter, at least in this uh, test. If you're looking for a lens that's gonna give you the most background separation, definitely the 105 millimeter is gonna be the lens. So it's a tough choice, but definitely for the studio, the 85 is my preference, and for the outdoors, the 105 is my choice. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't seen my prior shooting at the studio, click on the car above. And again, subscribe to the channel, as always. Thank Thank you. I'll see you again. Take care.